yes right let's come back and discuss the last colligative property that is your osmosis and osmotic pressure so till now we have been doing so many numericals so many variations of numericals in uh, vapor pressure then uh, i've also done numericals in elevation boiling point freezing point basically i've done one uh, numerical for each model like each model one one numerical so that anything any sort of concept asked it is not basically me completing your ncrt equations no it is basically your concept getting cleared after that now let us Let's come back and discuss this osmosis and osmotic pressure basically colligative property or that osmosis is represented by pi now, let's see now what what actually is this how should i define you should very well know have, have the concept or the definition of osmosis if it is asked for one mark and osmotic pressure also if it is asked for one mark let's come back and write now for that for understanding let's take a beaker then in a beaker what am i going to do i'm going to take <coughs> two things what the first one is uh, the outer uh, say this particular whole uh, layer the outer uh, this layer i'm filling only with pure solvent that is water only solvent there's nothing else and in that i've placed a semi permeable membrane or the parchment membrane or cellophane membrane this one that is very selective for the particular uh, uh, particles to move so this cellophane cellophane membrane or parchment paper <coughs> this is placed inside the solvent into that cellophane membrane i'm going to uh, pour in some solution when i say solution that means it contains certain uh, amount of solute isn't it that means suppose if i have to make it more clear here i'm taking pure water here i'm taking sugar solution let us assume like that so the uh, sugar solution uh, that is why uh, means containing a uh, solute in that that's why i said sugar okay if you want me to make it make it sugar solution now what happens as i said it is selectively parchment membrane which is selective for certain uh, solutions only so what it does it allows the solute particle or the solute particle from here starts traveling into the parchment membrane and now what happens when this is traveling gradually the level of the solution inside this membrane starts increasing from here then it goes and it attains and reaches an equilibrium that is point p right initially suppose if it was still here now because of the entry of solvent gradually the solute solvent particles and the, the solution level of the solution goes on increasing i said and it stops and reaches an equilibrium that is marked as p done let's come back and define now what is osmosis if i have to start start from here it is a spontaneous flow spontaneous flow which is flowing of the solvent of the solvent spontaneous flow of the solvent yes uh into the solution solvent into the solution so solution you already have solute particles isn't it so spontaneous flow of the solvent into the solution is termed as osmosis or if you have to further write which is concentrated which is dilute this is di this is your concentrated solute particle and this is a dilute particle isn't it your aqueous solution that means flow from dilute solution to concentrated solution is called osmosis simple now what is this osmotic pressure osmotic pressure is a hydrostatic pressure which i have to apply on the surface why why am i applying i'm for preventing i'm further preventing the solvent to enter into the solute particles so let's start your answer like this the hydrostatic pressure hydrostatic pressure exerted yes which is exerting exerted by the solution exerted by the solution just to prevent the flow of flow of solvent into the solution to prevent the flow of solvent into the solution okay in the other way around you can write like this also it is a minimum pressure which should be applied on the solution to prevent the entry of the solvent into the solution basically where is osmosis seen osmosis is observed only when there is a difference in concentration of liquids so remember that important thing only when you have two liquids and these two liquids concentration should be different different concentrations then only i can explain the concept of osmosis otherwise it will become an 
isotonic solution so remember concentration should be different second movement of the solvent into the solution that's one second uh, the hydrostatic pressure means the force which is applied to prevent the further entry of solvent into the solution done this is your basic thing if they ask you for one mark now next important thing i have to first learn whenever you're learning about your uh, osmotic uh, pressure first important thing we also call osmotic uh, this concept as van toff's laws also why basically we said we are going to learn the osmotic uh, pre osmosis osmotic pressure that is your pi value in terms of two formulas what are the two formulas basically we call them as van toff's boyle's law and van toff's charles law right so in boyle's law what is constant in boyle's law constant <coughs> yes temperature done in charles law what is constant constant uh, the, the uh, constant concentration what is your volume so let's come back so now whenever you are uh, picking up or relating to see pi when this uh, t is constant that means it is directly proportional to c concentration that is number of moles of solute by volume of the solution so further write this pi is equal to okay so instead of c try to write okay directly proportional n by v correct now let's come back here when the co concentration is constant that means pi is directly proportional to t yes the other way around if this is constant the others are variables so t pi is directly proportional to t both now relate both are if this is equal to this this is equal to this let us make both equal pi is directly proportional to n b t pi take it out take out this proportionality okay n by v r t yes how is this looking simple okay let us further take this p v is equal to n r t how is this looking this is nothing but like a ideal gas equation p v is equal to n r t this is pi v done now what are these values let's see we are going to use this for the further numericals i can still expand this how can i expand pi v is equal to n is number of moles of solute by your uh, uh, the weight of uh, this one isn't it n by n is now weight by molecular weight rather that means of solute wb by mb into rt this also you can use for solving the numericals so what are they first pi is osmotic pressure v is the volume wb is weight of solute mb is molecular weight of solute r is universal gas constant which is equal to 0.0821 l atom atmosphere degree inverse mole inverse what are we left with temperature t is absolute temperature this is your question so what am i going to do i'm going to use these formulas for solving the numericals this is your pi v you can also write in this way this whole thing can be written as p is equal to crt this also is not for c is the concentration instead of this i've written n by v yeah so now what did i write i can approximate it to pi is equal to hdg also because increase in volume it can also be written as pi is equal to hdg so what is this this is the height which is increased this is uh, the density g is the acceleration to gra gravity so both the things will be given in the form of numericals i can apply that in this particular thing